Nomad, this is Bowman. It's been a long time. You probably weren't expecting to go back to Aroa so soon. Let me set the scene. The U.S. Army never landed. Ships have been deployed to blockade the archipelago's perimeter. Every major nation is represented, with fingers on the trigger for whoever dares to claim control over Aroa's technological resources. Sounds like a grand old tropical paradise, doesn't it? The CIA has been covertly working with the outcasts and their leader Haruhi Ito to declare Aroa a free and autonomous nation. Our solution? We send the ghost to deal with the inevitable sentinel resistance that'll arise while leaving no trace of our involvement. You, old friend, will help the outcasts win their independence. Feel fancy yet? We do this right, and maybe we won't have another motherfucking shit show like Bolivia. Cleaning up all that shit a decade off my already charmed existence. I don't care for a repeat. Operation Motherland will begin the moment you meet up with Ito at the outcast camp. Good luck. Win Aroa her future. And try not to get killed. <laughs> Welcome everybody, this is Sergeant Devil Dog Dave, and I am bringing you another episode of my campaign in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So, I'm here in Erewhon, <clears throat> last thing you saw me, uh, probably saw us uh, finish off the Resistance Spec Op. So what we have left... is switching over from story mode to conquest mode and starting uh, Operation Motherland. So that is what we're going to do. Um, so here we go. It's Nomad. Got in. Surprisingly, I missed this place. Over. It's great to be working with you again, Nomad. Good times. New day, same old shit. Stay undetected while you make your way to Ito and the outcasts. Liberation should be easy with Sentinel and the Wolves leaderless and exhausted. The good news is, building an independent Aroa will be a breeze now that all parties have given the green light, including Skell's blessing. The only condition Ito gave to the CIA was that you be involved with the transition. Back in action, Bowman. The outcast main base is nearby. Do a recon before heading to the base. There's an observation point just in front of you. That way you can better plan your approach. Alright, so Bowman's back. Recon all the yellow markers. Okay. Trust Bowman. Use your drone to recon South Cape Station. Uh, your drone must be less than 100 meters from the recon point. some uh, intel over there, intel docs. I have no recollection, I, I know I played this, but I have no recollection, except near the end. 
the massive Alan Gollum Island. Russia must have gathered rogue boat arcs for Black Ops. This situation's new and dangerous. I have reports on the boat arcs. Boat arcs are a specialized Spetsnaz unit, similar to the ghosts that engage in black ops around the globe, named after the Russian word for werewolf. The title is meant to emulate the transition from normal man to ruthless monster, also known as Special Training Unit 500. It is the brainchild of General Vitaly Bukharov, who was assassinated in 2024 during a coup he orchestrated. The boat arcs allied themselves with Raven's Rock, a Russian faction with deep industrial, political, political and criminal connections and jointly conspired to overthrow what they perceived as a weak Russian government. After their inevitable failure, they were branded as traitors and exiled. Under the command of Peter Bukharov, son of the original founder, the boat arcs and remnants of Raven's Rock infiltrated Roa to collaborate with Trey Stone to manufacture lethal gas. Thwarted again, and with most of their leaders assassinated, their national terrorists wanted worldwide. Traces of recent activity have been found on Roa though details surrounding their new leadership and motivations remain a mystery. Okay. So... Heart of the Revolution. That segment's complete, that phase. We've briefed. Burned Sanctuary. Consult. Oh man, it's Nomad, got in, surprisingly I missed this place over, it's great to be working with you again, Nomad, good times, new day, same shit, stay undetected, while you make your way to Edo and the Outcast, liberation should be, <coughs> excuse me ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> excuse me, I hate to do that right in your ear, uh, liberation should be easy with Sentinel and the Wolves leaderless and exhaust. The good news is building an independent row will be a breeze now that all parties have given the green light including Scales Blessing. The only condition Ito gave to the CIA was that you be involved in transition, be discreet, U.S. forces can't be seen. Okay, this is the brief. Alright. Got that. Neutralize, burned sanctuary. Neutralize all the enemies. The target is the outcast base. You can see the through optical camo with thermal vision. You were supposed to reach Outcast main base and contact Ido, but an unpredicted boat arc attack changed everything. Secure the Outcast base to learn more about your allies' fate. Okay. Still don't really trust Bowman. Let's see what's up here in these uh, crates. We are in a different mode. 
in conquest mode, we're not in the story mode. That's different. So it's in these. Uh, just typical crate stuff. Just curious. And if you're wondering uh, what I'm rocking, I am rocking the ACA4. Is that what it is? AR, pardon me, ACAR still. It's a completely new assault rifle to me, earned through the spec op re resistance. A recon sniper rifle and my trusty M1911. Mm, should I? I'm not going to. Can I run? Said, I have no recollection of what this whole thing entails. Vito, dead or alive. We'll proceed with caution, but if Vito is dead, the only option will be for us to retreat. Your main objective is to conquer the region and save Vito. Start striking at the boat arch you find. It's clear that they've invaded the island, and they are our most pressing obstacles. 
There are several destabilization missions to support the primary objective. You can attack and destroy some Bodark VHC to reduce the Bodark's drone presence in the region. There's also a prison where captured outcasts have been gathered. If you free them, you might get intel on Ito, and simultaneously have possible reinforcements when the time comes to claim the region. Besides, the Bodarks unsurprisingly control the Parliament. Securing the Bodark checkpoint adjacent to it should encourage the outcasts to unite once and for all and push them to fight. I'm on it. No matter. That sounds like three phases. Alright. To dismantle the Bodark's activity in the UC Sparkle region, you need to weaken them through weaken them enough to unlock your next main mission. Uh, to do so, complete the required number of destabilization missions in the right window. Breaking specific aspects of Bodar's control over the region. The more destabilization missions you do, the easier it will be to navigate in the region. It is up to you to complete more of, the, of them after the main mission unlocks itself. Hover a mission icon on the map, or a mi hover, hover over a mission icon on the map or a mission button in the activity selector to see more info about it and pin it to follow in the HUD. Uh, I see. Conquest. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is... I do not remember this. So this is UC Sparkle. This is going to be something else. M in Copper. This is going to be... Uh, huh, got it. Okay. Alright, so right now I am in UC Sparkle. This is is locating destroy enemy vehicles. Trucks were spotted at the Liberty Airport. A destroyed vehicle will explode and can break your stealth. Trucks are were spotted on the road between the marina and airport. Okay. So this is probably the one on the road. So we're destroying vehicles here. Mission impact. It removes the Bodark dreadnoughts from this region's roads and pathways. Okay, and that's just one. So then this would be... Battle of Parliament. That's number three. I assume this is going to be Prison Break. That one. So, I think I'm going to do prison break first. Parliament, airport, and parliament, parliament last. Okay. I guess, and we all, uh, Harui's. Ito's biography. Three new destabili destabilization missions. Got that. Got some intel uh, collectible here. On autonomy. Let's see what her thoughts on autonomy were. Down in the diary. 
Conquering Roa is only the first step. If the CIA delivers on its promises, the Roan people will have freedom and autonomy by the end of all this. But getting the world to recognize our independence will not be easy. We need to create a formal democratic process to ensure that past mistakes won't be repeated. I'll not become another dictator, nor will I ever allow the rise of one. Roa needs a president. Schultz, maybe. And a functioning parliament. Elections, a senate an independent police force, and a judiciary. Roe's enemy, enemies must be taken to trial. Too many people have suffered or died at the hands of malevolent forces. They must be held accountable for their actions. Schultz and I both agree that the leaders don't deserve any amnesty. I'm willing to make room for low-level deserters if they transfer their allegiance to the New Republic, but I doubt that Schultz would be open to that possibility. With careful work and planning, I do not doubt that we will get there. The future looks bright. Once we lay the foundations, we can move on to our foreign policies and enact treaties to protect Aroa from the rest of the world. For now, we have to progress at a measured pace so we don't choke at the finish line. Okay, then we have this one, the biography, another long. Harui Ito is a former Skeltec employee turned revolutionary that inspired an uprising against Sentinel with ill-equipped guerrilla forces. Before meeting Nomad, she and Alka suffered heavy losses. Nomad assisted Ito in developing the outcasts into a properly trained militia group, aiding in their rebellion and conquering of the Rowan Archipelago. Ito believes in fighting for a brighter future for the Rowan people and hopes that with Nomad's involvement, her forces can help turn the tide against Raven's Rock. Though previously very reserved and even at times hostile to figures of authority, she has grown to trust no man and has made a deal with the CIA that will enable the outcasts to reclaim and rebuild an autonomous and independent Aroan nation. Okay. And then there's another intel thing here. Ready for revolution. More Harui diary. Written before the boat arc infiltrated Aroa. The outcasts are ready for revolution. I can feel it with every fiber of my being. All reports indicate that Sentinel and the Wolves are leaderless and demoralized. Stone and Walker's death have left them disorganized. Now the outcasts are trained. We are sure to be able to hold on hold our ground against them the brute squad and sentinel deserters know how to get results that's for sure we could have used more training but i can't blame no man for leaving we need to settle these issues for ourselves the outcasts don't belong anywhere else aroa is our home now it won't be easy to conquer the whole island and our enemies won't surrender without a fight but more civilians are joining our ranks with each passing day it's time we show them what we're made of. We only need to take care of the last remnants of Sentinel and the Wolves. Nothing else stands in our way. If the CIA holds up its half of the bargain, the dream of independent Aroa will soon become a reality. We'll have our freedom no matter what the cost. Okay. Here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it this episode. That was a good introductory episode. So I'm going to call it here. I want to thank you all for watching. I am Sergeant Devil Dog Dave. And when we return, we will begin on these uh, destabilization missions in this particular conquest mission. Until then, I am Sergeant Devil Dog Dave signing off with Raw and Semper Fi.